So, measurements of the Odyssey MM100 have just dropped, or good ones at that. An Apple House Sound member named Lesbian sent a, or bought a unit, and Oratory1990 picked it up and measured it for them. So, okay. First, let's... Okay, so let's just look at the graph right now, okay? So, this treble is really horrible, and this is the part that's hardest the EQ. Like, sure, the bass extension is great. The mid-range, I guess, is kind of smooth, or it's smooth enough for EQ purposes. But in the treble, it's like, what do we even have going on here? At um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 kilohertz. Yeah, we have a huge dip in the response, and then followed by that, it's a bit uneven. But after 8 kilohertz... In between between eight kilohertz and like thirteen kilohertz, there's just nothing in the treble. Like you can even see the after EQ graph doesn't look good either because there's not really much you can do to fix this trouble. You know, this is just poor driver quality, poor internal chambers, chamber effects, or whatever. But this is just really poor performance for a headphone. Like I'm not that surprised, I guess. Odyssey dropped the price a lot, but. Let's be real, $400 is still quite a bit for a headphone, and if you spend $400, you might as well spend $4,500, right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, um, so, you know, you have reviewers like DMS and like this other random guy who's like, oh my god, the MM100 has so much more treble clarity or something than the MM500 and LCD5, but you have to understand that these people are not trained listeners, and if you look at this graph here, on a relative scale, like these audio reviewers with that, who have not completed the formal training only have like 20% of the performance of a trained listener such as myself. So you can't actually trust anything these guys say. But I can tell you now, looking at this graph, this is just like atrocious trouble performance. Um, I, I really don't know what we expected, but this is just like horrible. Okay, so if we go look at the... So if we look at the MM500 now, you can see that the treble is a bit better, but it still has this gaping hole in the response after like eight kilohertz. And also there's the six kilohertz peak that seems to shift with position. And it's also really heavy and uncomfortable. And it just does not sound that good in the treble, especially. I think the bass quality is pretty good, especially with EQ, as, as the MM100 would be. But if we look at the LCD5 now, we can see that the treble is like, in a different league compared to these other headphones and look at how smooth it is stock all you have to do is add like a peaking filter at like seven kilohertz and it'll fill up the region and just look at these side by side mm100 and odyssey lst5 in terms of trouble quality the mm100 is just trash there's nothing to it don't buy it just buy the odyssey lst5 it's like similar enough in price right so that's all i really have to say for this video i'd like to give a shout out to dmus bring us ninja comer 3 whittaker Mild Blue, Christopher Yu, The Artful Reaper, Tripped, and James, thank you guys for supporting the channel, really appreciate it. Be sure to join the Apple House and Discord server, where we have amazing discussions and members, and see you guys next time. I'm out.